hello guys welcome to my youtube channel games warehouse for you so guys today here in this video we'll be going to create a game like riders so let's start first of all we'll just delete it okay sorry now first of all we need two uh, assets from the asset store which is the post processing stack and uh, the second one is mk glow free so link to download will be in the description so this is a simple scene just select your camera add a post processing behavior and now for the profile I just created this profile which is camera I will just select my main camera drag and drop this and now what I've just done is so we need I just set just open it up no, don't need to change the value and uh, the color grading to filmic and uh, that's all just fog is already selected and that's the thing I just go to the main camera and just little brighter and that's all now j then I just go to the paint.net and created this where sprite this one the simple the sprite and uh, I think that's this one uh, this simple sprite and uh, then I just imported it into the unity select the sprite mode to multiple sprite editor slice and then slice so this will slice all of them separately and then apply and you will get these three platforms so I will select this one and drag and drop it into the scene and uh, that's fine for now now what we have to do is select a line renderer for the platform and uh, create a new layer add layer platform select the platform add a layer platform and now add a polygon collider and uh, what polygon collider do is manually create the collider from any point we want like this you can see that I can set the collider in any position at any angle I want so that's really cool I just wanna just know about this I totally use only this collider for everything I do because the cube collider or any else don't have uh, a custom shape so for the custom shape basically this polygon collider is used and if you don't know about it and if you just know about it yet like now you just know that how what is it so I hope that it might be very very helpful for you if you create some games so I'm just for now setting up the collider for the rider to just move on okay and uh, that's all now what we just have to do is just go to our main camera add a mk glow legacy then uh, the debug I think don't need the workflow to selective and uh, the render layer where is the uh, so I want only the line to glow so for the line I have just created this platform layer so I will go to the main camera select the render layer to nothing and then the platform so I only want the platform okay so now it's time to create the material so we call the material folder and then I just open it up and create a new material now uh, what we just have to do is just go to the standard and the MK you will get this MK glow selective legacy and uh, where is sprites you have to go to the sprites and then select the default uh, sorry diffuse and now here you just have to add an emission texture so 
make sure you select a uh, white texture so the emission should be uh, we can change the emission color to any color if you want so now what we're gonna do is add a new 6x6 six six sprite and uh, make sure its color is totally white and then save it in the material folder which is here and name it emission color and then save it as a PNG file make sure if you want uh, your, your file to be transparent select PNG format that will work 100% fine so now go to the material drag and drop this emission here and now just drag and drop this material to the line render material which is here line render uh, and the material drag and drop this here now I don't know why it isn't working so what else we have to do MK glow select a platform or oh, make sure to yes it is platform So guys, I know that it didn't work because uh, our sprite, which uh, our uh, texture, isn't. It was the black color. So make sure to color it white. Okay. And uh, now it is blooming. And uh, now we will have to just uh, think. Uh, color it up so any color instead of black you want so I think that the color looks fine Don't, uh, I think that one is perfect and I hope you liked it also and uh, but make sure that for every platform you have to create a new material if you so like I say pink so basically it is purple color and then for the next platform I will just duplicate it and uh, create the next platform which is sprites and uh, this one is this one is the next platform and I think we we'll just duplicate it and pink platform so uh, again purple form and the second one to the green I think will be fine and then here just select the platform sprite to this one so that work fine no need to add a custom um, settings again so I just reset this and uh, here like this and uh, for its color what we're gonna do is go to the material select the Uh, it's green, it's green color, and then drag and drop this green color to this platform, and color to the green. And sorry, don't. Now we just uh, undo this, and then the color material select our platform line render purple green color. Drag and drop this green color, emission color, to the green color. And I hope it works, but I don't know why it is not working. Um, hmm. The green color, green color. Okay, man. Okay, so we'll fix it in the coming moment. But for now, I think that it's 
because of this man green color here I said I will fix it so I did green color like this save the scene and now after a very long time of creating only this colorful sprites is the time to now create the one and only thing uh, writer so we could scripts and uh, the script create a C sharp script name it writer and uh, now create a writer in the Photoshop so I'm going to create so wait so guys finally I have just created a simple rider and uh, where it is oh so this is a simple model of rider I just created so what I'm going to do is just drag and drop it into the scene what else but it's too much large so what we're gonna do is pixel per unit to 150 and uh, say apply it I hope it works but I think it requires 200 and uh, it's too much 240 that's fine so I am going to satisfy it satisfy to here now add a uh, orange layer and uh, then the polygon collider polygon collider 2d and uh, that's fine but we just have to play in the surface like this Set it plain as plain as it look good, and uh, you don't want your rider to just stuck on a on any kind of area. So you can just delete by pressing Control and click the first the corner edges. So this will make it smooth. Okay now just like this uh, save the scene make sure to add a polygon collider sorry a rigid body 2d and uh, we have to just do some changes here collision continuous and um, mass 5 and I will just check it out thing linear drag or these things are thing that require some changes so what if I said linear drag to f 5 then what the that is fine and the oh that's what I can go to drag linear drag to 1 and then uh, it is uh, too heavy so 3 just check, check its value that it look smooth in landing on the ground so that is not looking so much smooth no that isn't linear drag to 5 uh, it's too slow linear drag to point zero 0.01 then how oh, and that's awesome so what we just have to do is right click copy component values sorry copy component no need for the values paste component values so save the scene what we have is a continuous collision detection and uh, angular drag 5 linear drag 0 0.01 and the mass to 5 so now we are ready to create a script go to the script writer open it up in visual studio or monodevelop any kind of compiler interpreter you have 
I'm using the mono develop. So here now we just need one uh, two things now what we're gonna do is bool and the bool is is moving is equals to false by uh, default no need okay is moving is equal to false by default that will be fine okay and uh, other thing is also the public rigid body 2d R B. So why we added the bool of moving? So we added the bool of moving because uh, we want to know that uh, the button is pressed or not. So we can do a accurate uh, movement. So we will just get an idea why I did it uh, in the coming tutorial. So in the void we say that if we get the input of uh, button which is by default uh, fire one in uh, the unity but that means the mouse one button so it is for the touch control so this is why I use the mouse so what we're gonna do is is moving will be equals to the true and uh, uh, just copy and paste it and said that is moving is equals to false what if the gut button down is not down it's up so when we leave the input of the fire one it will just uh, is moving will be false so uh, now we need another thing that one it is not in the ground it just uh, flip so for this we will create another bool and name it uh, is grounded and they will be equals to true by default so for this we're gonna say that void void on collision enter 2d no need for the collider specific yet because we only have lines we don't have anything else so what we're gonna do is void on clear enter 2d we will set the is grounded grounded will be equals to true t r u e okay and what we're gonna say sorry we're gonna do that if is grounded is equal uh, to false will be equal to false when on clean enter is on clean exit something like we are not in the collision anything so it will flip and now it's time to add the movement so here we say mm, yes that if if m is moving uh, equals to true I think double equals and 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 the is grounded is equals to true if so if is moving is equal to true and is grounded is equals to true as well what I'm going to do is I will add a force uh, of on the vector2 dot right position because as you can see that our player will move on the right position on the x axis like this I hope you get the idea right and now multiply this with some kind of so multi uh, for the speed I will create an other float this will be public float and we're gonna say it's speed so we'll multiply it with the speed 
and multiply it with the fixed d sorry I just got an idea we'll just say fixed update because uh, fixed update uh, is used because we are working with the physics RB rigid body is a fixed physics type of thing so when we are working with uh, some kind of physics we want correct or accurate calculation so for this purpose we use fixed update so I'm using the fixed update and now we're gonna multiply it with the time dot fixed delta time and then multiply it with 100 big why did I why I did it because one we just do a fixed delta time our speed just if it is 20 it will be too low so to just to fix that error that uh, if we want accurate calculation we will just multiply it with 100 so we get the correct value that we want so I hope you get the idea if you use the time to delta time your speed variables so now check that out that it works fine or not by default I set the speed to something like 10 and uh, now what we just have to do is uh, we just uh, add the script to the player make sure drag the rigid body and then play the game so when we just click on the screen our rider will go up up uh, to the front it's too slow I think 50 oh 50 is too much 20 will be fine mm -hmm. I think the sprite is not as much accurate as we want so that's a problem with the sprite oh, oh what, how can we fix it we can fix it by for now just resetting the polygon collider and one thing else instead of polygon collider we can use a uh, edge collider also edge collider Oh, that works same. Okay, so I think we just need to add a material here because, uh, as you can see, that uh, um, when uh, with the, uh, with the uh, when the player is on the height, it doesn't fall back because of no materials. So we create a folder, say physics material. So that was the physics material, not the material of the color. Or if you don't get it, create a physics material 2D and uh, friction, name it friction, select the platform and uh, drag and drop this. I don't know the platform or the rider. I think that uh, would be a rider. Okay, we'll just check this out. Friction to zero, make sure. Now it's working very fine, man. That's awesome. So, that fixed the problem. And now, same as that. If moving is equal to true and if grounded is not equals to true, is not equals to f true like false. So what we're gonna do is instead of rb dot add force we use rb dot add torque and then we will multiply it on the same axis I think where is this oh yes copy that paste and name it rotation speed will be equals to 50 by default by I think that will work fine so what we're gonna do is vector I don't remember the vectors map vector 2 dot up I think that worked fine I am not sure uh, vector 2 dot up 
multiply by rotation speed multiply by time dot fixed delta time multiply by 100 rod so we can get a accurate value and make sure to speed the rider 20 and the rotation speed okay add dog float 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 okay so we just remove this I don't know yeah that works fine I hope that it works fine also so as you can see when I go to the debug mode I can see my private variables which are is grounded and is moving so I wanna know that they works great or not oh man the torque is working very very fine so but this torque is very high so we set it to something like 4 and now that works fine oh man that's awesome okay we we'll just reset it rider speed to something like 25 and the platform uh, will just increase its area in this thing so basically we don't want anything we just want this platforms so I'm doing this I'm getting the platform okay we just save it and now we need one thing which is camera and uh, basically I don't know the script for the camera but uh, I think we can just go to the normal and delete the camera script and uh, we import the custom package and standard asset of utility and uh, this will provide us a various scripts uh, that we might get our camera script also so uh, just to import in the standard asset go to the main camera add component and uh, smooth follow script and uh, no this one not remove component sorry so follow target script that will work absolutely fine I hope and drag and drop your rider start this game and then set its values so that we get a correct so we set it to minus 10 I have like this and uh, a little up like this uh, that's what fine copy the component paste the component values and then we are ready to play the game so we just play it oh that works fine okay that is absolutely fine uh, we set the speed to 30 and the rotation to something like uh, 8 or 9 and uh, make sure uh, so do something with this thing we call the angular drag because it is not uh, working as desired okay they are very work okay just uh, set this to 5 again So make sure that you change some setting of uh, the rigid body so you can get a great value. Uh, I didn't practice it so I am unable to just set this value ri right now because it will take a way lot of time but a good thing is that you have a rider game fully completed within only a 45 lines of code and that's awesome and uh, no but that is um, there you have to import post processing and the MK uh, what we call package uh, it's not created by you fully but uh, that's a problem what we can do 
uh, I, w I, w uh, I hope that uh, I can create this game uh, totally on my own but I have to import these assets because I c I'm unable to create this so that's a bad thing but ok guys this video ends here I hope you liked it and uh, if you really liked it then please subscribe to my channel I will be creating more games like this and uh, make sure that you subscribe it because if you don't subscribe it how will you get the notifications for the upcoming videos so guys for now this video ends here till the next time goodbye